first scene was Cersei and I assume one of her old friends going to a witch's hut, which I totally called out <laughs> on being like Merida, uh, brave. Right, right. So what do you think of the three questions? They were interesting. Um, I, wasn't she supposed to marry like who was she supposed to marry again? She was supposed to marry somebody else. And One of the Targaryen princes. Yeah. And the witch says, no, you won't marry the prince. But you'll marry the king. Yep. Which is referring to Robert. Mm hmm. And yeah. he had 20 sons. Well, 20 kids. 20 kids. But none were hers. No. She had three the golden crown. Nothing's dead. She now has two kids. Um, one is down in Dawn, Dorn. Yep. Um, said Dawn. Dorn. Uh, Dorn, and then one's being king. Yeah. So, and that led us to the Jamie and Cersei scene there next mm -hmm. to Tywin. Which they talked about, like, once they see the rocks on his eyes, they'll try to tear us apart. Mm-hmm. Like that? Because Tywin's been the power Lannister player for all these years. Yep. So if he's dead, everybody's going to definitely not take the Lannisters as seriously. Well, they still have a king to work with. But he's technically a Baratheon. Um, then we have Tyrion. Tyrion Getting out of his box. I called it. You were called, yeah, you're bragging all the time about how you called it. <laughs> but that was a good call. And well that was a little later. I can pick out the little things. Um, I even I even said the whole sun being White Walkers. Yeah. <laughs> I, I called that. I called that. I'm proud of that. <laughs> so, um, what do you think of Tyrion? Maybe going to see Danny? That's going to be awkward. Hi, my brother killed your father. Um, <laughs> by the way, Tyrion <laughs> Lannister. <laughs> yeah. Not the last not, name. <laughs> yeah, probably the best part. Just like, <laughs> hi, I'm Tyrion. No, you probably don't want to learn my last name. <laughs> Um, what else we have? We had the Unsullied uh, guy. Yeah. White Rat. He went brothel. to the brothel to get sung, hmm? to have one of the words sing to him. Mm -hmm. um, Just and comforting and, you know, to relax, I think. And then he got killed. The By two the... main ways of killing someone. Uh... Head chopped off, slit through. Both sharp blades to the neck. Mm hmm. Um, but anyway, uh, the resistance. Who did it? Um, the. How oh shoot. I think the, the name. <laughs> the. The one. The. <laughs> what are they called? Sons of the Harpy. Harpy, that's right. Yep. <laughs> I knew you knew what it was. They like, just wanted to oh, make you like think for a second. Just like yeah, harpy. That's what the mythical creature is. Oh. So and then um, Danny made a very funny remark. If the snake lashes out, it's easier to cut off his head. You think that's smart? Uh, what? Do you think that's smart? Well, I mean, then you know. What where they are. Oh, yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's a very, uh, very, uh, not necessarily foreshadowment, but backshadowment? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me see what else we got going on. Um, 
We'll talk about the other Danny scenes right now. Uh, we had his dar coming up um, saying that they made a council of free men and slave the uh, elder slave owners. But they wanted to be able to open up the fighting pits. Which consists of men fighting to death. Yep. Which reminds me of Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> <laughs> like the first half. Yeah, no. Well, it's happened throughout history. You get the, yeah, Rome and. Yeah, but you know. So the it's happened the before. Place, uh, right. Before. I mean, right down to the whole slave thing. Now, um, she shut that down, though. Yeah, he goes. And then we come into the Danny and Dario scene. When Dario tries to persuade her to give it back. Right. What do you think of Dario's speech there? Any valid points? He does have a few. But, I mean, I can't, if they want to participate in it, I mean, it's their fault if they die. Right. But there should be, like, this thing where you can just, like, back out. Like, yield. Yield. What? Maybe incorporate some rules, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> just change a few of the rules um. so that you can yield. So it won't be a quite a battle to the death. All right. Well, then Danny wants to go check on the dragons. And then they kind of are a little angry. A little angry. I mean, it's relatable. <laughs> <laughs> They've been in chains for a while. They're getting a little bigger. Yeah. You notice that? Yeah, they were a little... <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're big enough to ride. <laughs> or at least close. Of course. I, hope I don't think they'd let her on. No, they seem a little angry. Okay. All right, well, let's uh, travel back to uh, King's Landing and talk about the funeral. So we had an interesting conversation between Cersei and Lancel. Mm-hmm. Um, about Robert. Yeah. What do you think of that? What he said? I thought that was intriguing. <laughs> and we had... There was the small... So do you think it was an accident? No, not by the sounds of it. <laughs> it sounds like it was planned. On purpose. <laughs> <laughs> All these years. <laughs> All these deaths are planned. <laughs> uh, then we get Loris and Marjorie talking. Mm -hmm. Um... Laura's saying he's not going to have to marry Cersei because Tywin's dead now. Yep. Which means Marjorie's going to be stuck with Cersei. And Marjorie didn't seem too pleased about that. No. Because who wants to get stuck with Cersei? Not me. Not you? No. Alright, so what do you think will happen there? Do you think the... Loris and Cersei thing's gonna happen? Well, Marjorie also clearly stated that she didn't want Marjorie, uh, she didn't want Cersei as a sister. Right. She don't want her as a mother either. <laughs> no. I don't know if there are other people she can marry. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> just getting married off. Well, that's a power play. It's all about the power. <laughs> And judging by the one that the one flashback, she's having no more kids. Right. So Okay, well let's go up to the wall then. And talk about John and Mance. Yep. What do you feel for Mance there at the end? Felt pity for him? Mm-hmm. Did he understand why he was saying what he wanted to say? Or which side, I guess, you're, you're on? Yeah, the side of honor, you know? 
all his life this is what he's believed in so he won't bend a knee? Or do you feel like John was right? Just bend the knee to save all the wildlings? Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a neutral. I mean, I get John's side and mm -hmm. I get Mance's side. But, I mean, John's side would have kept you alive. But the downside would be like, the, the sh he probably should have said that, like, he probably said that, but like, on a deal, like, but only the wildlings who want to fight for you, which are probably z z none to zero. <laughs> right, yeah, not many people. Very slim. It but would take Mance ordering them to fight for yeah. Stannis to get them to fight for Stannis, I think. But I mean, like, terms. That might have helped. But now, yeah, now he did. they're still stuck north of the wall. Now they don't have a leader. They'll go back to fighting each other. But we also got the White Walkers coming. Yeah. <laughs> Winter is coming. I know it's season five. They've been saying this since episode one. Literally episode one. <laughs> they, they have said that since episode one. Probably some, uh, several, several, several thousands of years before. <laughs> <laughs> so, up in the air on who, what he should have done. What do you think of when John shot him with an arrow? I mean, death by arrow is probably better than death by fire. Yeah, a lot quicker. You got him in the heart. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. I don't think Stannis looked too happy though. No. He's probably like, why did you do that? <laughs> um, so that was episode five in a nutshell. Um, yep. Anything you want to add? Well, we'll do the um, favorite part and favorite part of the episode and most uncomfortable, I guess. It gave lots of background, background and it reminded me of Brave. <laughs> right. Favorite part? Is that it? Yeah. All right. Most unsettling? Probably. Yeah, no idea. Just, just the ending part. Cause, the you ending know, part because it's so, <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> yeah. Um, I had one spot that I might have thought you would have said favorite part on. What? And that was when Gilly was telling Sam that he should be training. And Sam I said, was thinking about that. <laughs> I've already killed a White Walker and a Sam. <laughs> I was thinking about that. That probably comes in a close second. A very close second. Or the, the Tyrion, um, Barry's conversation involving Danny. That would probably be a third. That would be a third? Okay, so I was on. <laughs> Okay, well, that would be episode one. We want to do anything else? You wanted your uh, thing over there. Okay. Um, so, on the off of the Q and A. Q and A paper. Uh, there was the a question, a question like, like, if you rule the seven kingdoms, who would your hand, small council, and your guard be? So, other side. Uh, I came up with like. Real life people from my real life that would be on it, and then Disney princesses. <laughs> so you know, uh, from my real life, there would be Dad would be my hand, and then my friend Emma or Zach, my friend Zach would be Master of Coin. Um, 
Kim or Emma would be, or Jenny, would be Master of Whispers. And then either Kaylee or my mom would be Grand Meister. And then guard would, I, my papa would probably be like the head guard. And then my Uncle Dan. And if my dad wasn't Hannah King, he'd be in guard. And then Disney princesses. Well, I gotta hear this. <laughs> Elsa would be my hand. Tiana from Princess and the Frog would be Master of Coin. Pocahontas, because you know, the whole... Uh, <laughs> Pocahontas would be Master of Whispers. And Rapunzel would be Grand Meister. And then my guard would be Mulan, Merida, and Anna. So yeah. <laughs> So the princess, Game of, Thrones. Game of Thrones, Disney princess, Game of Thrones. All right, well that was a good answer, Anna. <laughs> you put a lot of thought into it too. Yes. <laughs> you were wandering around trying to figure like, out. <laughs> who should this be? So yeah. Okay, well right on. That's episode one. We are into season five now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll try to keep them coming out. We were really busy through three and four. I'm going to try to do busyness through season five also. Mm -hmm. We did take a good two week break, which was, it was a good break. Well needed. So, I'll uh, be looking forward to more. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.